there is no doubt that we are in the euphoric phase of AI. A model has not even been released and everyone is trying to conjecture about it. I'm talking about Llama 3's 405 billion parameter model, which has been touted to be released any any time today or tomorrow. I really don't worry about the release dates of these models. We get to know them as soon as they release, then they get old after a few days. And then we move on to the new big thing. That is what this AI hype or AI euphoria is all about. We have seen it with dot-com bubble. We have seen it with cloud. We have seen it with a lot of other technologies over the years. So this is not something new. But as everyone is talking about it, so I just thought of going into the details of what is available. And then only in this video, I am going to tell you what is confirmed. And I am not going to go into the rumor machine. I am not going to um, sort of guess about a few things because the model will be released very soon and then we will play around with it, we will test it out. But just because the size of the model is quite big, the Llama 3 405 billion, as you can see in this benchmark, which I have obtained from this GitHub repo of Azure, and I will drop the link to it in video description. So if you go through all of these benchmarks, which they have released for this model, you get to build the picture of it. Also, one base model version was released. They have removed it by now. You had to download it from Torrent and it took me like hours to download it and it, it was gone. It, uh, gone. it was very, very slow. But I was able to get a picture of its architecture, which I'm going to also tell you in this video. What I'm not going to tell you in this video is, is when it is going to be released, how it is going to be run and all that stuff because we don't know yet. <laughs> if someone is giving you a link to the model, sharing the torrent, I would highly suggest don't click on it. It could be a scam. It could be some uh, malware. So be aware there. I know there is a lot of excitement around this model. There is a lot of things going around, but we have to be careful. It is just a model at the end of the day, but a good one. If you look at this benchmark, which I just told you that I obtained from their GitHub repo. So let's have a quick look at it. And before that, the reason why I think everyone seems to be so excited about a model from Meta from Mark Zuckerberg is that this model is beating GPT 4.0. GPT 4.0 from OpenAI is world's best model hands down at the moment. Most of the people, they don't have a very high opinion of OpenAI as a company. Because despite of the word open in their name, they are not open at all. We have no open source of that model. We don't know about its data set. And that is why this open source model Meta Llama 3.1405 billion is much, much abated because it will be open source. It will be free. People are saying, but there there is also a rumor that it might be behind a paid premium subscription, so that should be fun. Uh, there might be some open source option where we would be able to download it and run it locally and we will see how that goes. But for now, that is the case. So the reason why, I, as I was saying, that there is so much euphoria is that it is going to be GPT-40. And if you look at this benchmark on different um, scenarios, it seems that the performance is quite amazing. Still. GPT-4.0 beats it in various benchmarks, but all in all, the numbers look quite promising. Now, if we go through this benchmark information, let's slice and dice it. First benchmark is BullQ, which is a question answering benchmark for yes, no questions on Wikipedia articles. In this one, Metalama 3.1405 billion in the second column has beaten GPT-4.0. And of course, the rest of the lot is way behind. No doubt about that. And that is understandable. Then we have GSM 8K, which is a math problem solving benchmark for eighth grade level math questions. Again, Metalama 3.1405 billion has beaten GPT-40. Then you see at Hellasoy, 
which is a common sense reasoning benchmark for choosing the correct ending to a story and if you look here again meta 405 billion has one then we have human eval which is a human evaluation benchmark for language models to generate text based on prompts this one gpt 40 has a one and this is quite an important benchmark especially for text generation then we have mmlu mmlu is a multiple choice benchmark for humanities question such as history art and that sort of stuff lama 3 has one here mmlu other is for miscellaneous questions as, such as sports and stuff in this one it is just very very slightly meta lamas is better for social sciences for the same mmlu gpt40 has one for science technology engineering math lama 3 is way ahead which is amazing open book qa which is a question answering benchmark for grade school level questions on various subjects again lama 3 405 billion has one Pika is a physical common sense reasoning benchmark for predicting physical interactions. Lama three has one, and then again the question, the truthful and this social IQA. This is a question answering benchmark for truthfulness and fact checking, and this is sort of tie here. And then you will see that again, Meta Lama sort of tie. I would say maybe GPT four O has an edge. and then the venogrand which is a common sense reasoning benchmark for choosing the correct ending to a story with a focus on win win situation this is also an important benchmark where meta lama 3 has won quite nicely so these benchmarks evaluate various aspects of language models such as qa common sense reasoning math problem solving and human evaluations and in all of them Meta Lama 3 405 billion has performed quite well as compared to GPT 4. Now let me show you the architecture of this model. So let me take you to my VS Code where I have put it in. Again, this was extracted from the torrent which was leaked. Seems quite legit to me, so that is why I decided to share it. So if you go from the top. this is the model's architecture as you can see here so the type of model is llama then we have attention bias which is files which is false so this is this adds bias to attention weights which means that false is disabled and then we have attention um, sim attention is simply a mechanism that focuses on specific parts of input data attention dropout is zero which randomly drops attention weights it means there is no dropout then we have this bos at eos which are the special token ids for sequence start and end and token is simply a single unit of text it could be a word or it could be a character then we have this uh, hidden activation function for hidden layers for example silu or there are various others hidden layer is a layer that processes input data but isn't directly observable it is sort of within the you know trenches of the model and activation function as i said this is simply uh, something which introduces non linear arity to the layer's output then we have hidden size which is a number of units in hidden layers and units mean that individual components of layer that process input data and this is the number of it then we have initializer range this is a range for initializing model weights and in for the, and then we have intermediate size which is a number of units in intermediate layer intermediate layer is a layer that connects hidden layers then we have max position embeddings which is a maximum sequence length and position embedding encode the position of tokens in a sequence then we have mlp bias which adds bias to the mlp layer mlp is multiplayer perceptron which is a type of neural network and then model type already we see that it is llama and then number of attention heads is 128 attention uh, head basically is a stands for multiple attention mechanisms that focus on different parts of input data 
Number of hidden layers are this 126 and these are the layers that process input data but they are not directly observable. Then we have number of key value heads which are the which are the components of attention mechanism that store and retrieve information. And then we have these are the pre-training uh, task parameters. Then we have this RMS norms epsilon which is for RMS normalization. This rescales input data to have a mean of 0 and variance of 1. Then we have rope scaling, which is the hyperparameter for rotary positional encoding and I have done a detailed video on it as what exactly this means. Then we have this tie word embedding and all that stuff where it means that we share word embedding weights that, that is fault at the moment. Word embedding is simply a vector representation of the word. Then we have torch D type that's a data type for model weights that is B float 16. Then the transformer versions is this one. And then we are using a uh, cache during inference and vocabulary sizes this much, which is the number of unique tokens in the model's vocabulary. And vocabulary is a set of all unique tokens in training data. So this is what this model's architecture looks like. Context length seems to be around 128K, but I could be wrong. So I believe that let's wait for the model release properly and then we will go through it. And by the way, I'm quite excited for this model because as long as it is open source and we would be able to install it locally. Otherwise, I think um, if they just keep it closed source or if they keep it behind a premium subscription, there is no point then. So that's it guys. I hope that you got something out of it. Let me know what you think about Llama 3's next upcoming version. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.